Thank you, Mr. Calver. Thank you, Madam Chair. It will be no surprise to anybody in this committee, or certainly my constituents in the West Midlands, that I am opposed to the common security and defence policy. Whilst cooperation amongst member states is welcome, I have two core issues against the policy. We already have voluntary structures, such as NATO and the Organisation for Security and Cooperation in Europe, which can help to encourage cooperation when it is mutually beneficial. I have many concerns with the direction towards increased centralisation of security and defence policy and increased financing of these policies from the central budget and the member states. In particular, I would like to draw attention to the proposal contained within um, the uh, Athena mechanism on, uh, for the common financing of military operations. The draft re resolution as is calls for an increase in the cost liable under the Athena mechanism and many amendments call for the increased use of the Athena mechanism um, across more European Union missions. It is completely unacceptable at a time when the major UK parties are refusing to commit to maintaining British defence spending at least at the NATO minimum of 2% that we should be expected to increase spending on EU civilian and military missions. Indeed, this is the situation in many of the EU member states. It is vital that each member state maintains the responsibility for and capability to provide for their own citizen security. Thank you.